Hi booktube, I decided I was going to make a video on one of my old cameras. So I'm kind of adjusting it. I've never made a, a video off this camera. So I don't know how it's going to work. I'm trying to adjust the angle. So forgive me if it comes off. I don't know why it's so, so jiggly. Anyway, so I'm making a video, and in this video, I don't really have any thing to really. Well, I was. I mean, I should do what I always do. That it is a. What is today? It's a Saturday night. I'm sitting in my main study. It's going on 10 o'clock at night here in West Michigan. Like I said, it's February the 18th. No, tomorrow is February the 18th. Today is February the 17th. And on my diary for the year 2018, I ended on page 129. So tomorrow, which will be a Sunday, the beginning of a new week, I'll be on page 130 for my 2018 paper diary. I didn't make a video. I've been looking at Booktube. I'm always looking at Booktube, looking at videos. And... Friday, I volunteered at the library book nook, library used bookstore here in Holland, Hendrick District Public Library used bookstore, the book nook. And I brought home a book I already had, but I bought a paperback edition, which was called Everybody's Fool, a novel by Richard Rusko. I have it in hardback. Uh, I've mentioned that Richard Rusko is one of my favorite American writers. I got this paperback because it's easy to carry around if I want to take it with me somewhere. And then I got the novel The Sport of Kings, a novel by C.E. Morgan. That was a runner-up for the Pulitzer Prize and other literary prizes last year, 2017. I noticed in Booktube World, there's a lot of reviews for the book. It's called The Sport of Kings by, what I say? <laughs> yeah, my memory is so short. Uh, it's so frustrating. The Sport of Kings, a novel by C.E. Morgan. And so I brought those home, but I've been mainly reading that book uh, titled Fan, Fan News, Women Walk the City in Paris, New York, Tokyo, Venice, and London by Lauren Elkin. I've been reading that, and uh, was, I got a thing in the mail today. This is a, a limited edition. Uh, it's kind of like short stories and essays by the musician from the Swans and oh, I can't remember the other group. <laughs> I can't remember right now. Anyway, this is a limited edition. This is 146 out of 2,500. It's signed. It ha comes with a CD of him reading some of the selections in here. I'm really into Micah Gore, uh, into his music. You know, I'm just going to show them to you. His 
he did the swans and he had a side project. And hold on. The Angels of Light. <laughs> That's what he was in. He did the swans and then he did the Angels of Light and then he regrouped the swans. And these are, you know, I really like Michael Guerra. I don't know why. Uh, this is some of his CDs. Angels of Light, New Mother. Uh, Angels of Light, We Are Him. This is my favorite of the Angels of Light CD. How I Loved You. And then you have Angels of Light. Angels of Light sing other people. And Angels of Light, everything is good here. Please come home. So, and this is... Uh, so he re he did Swans and then did the Angels of Light. He done some solo work. Right now he's in Europe doing solo. He just goes out and sings on the guitar and performs his songs. And then he regrouped the Swans and put out a, a couple records, some live records. And then he disbanded the Swans just recently. And now he's not sure exactly what he's going to do next. If he's going to have a new Swan group, he doesn't really know. But he puts out things like this and I just buy them. So I got that in the mail today. It's called The Egg Stories by Michael Gira. It has, uh, you know drawings in it, you know, kind of strange. Let's see, it's kind of strange. So I got that in the mail. Yesterday when I was at the uh, the book nook, I read this book, The Ways of Imperfection, Exploration of Christian Spirituality by Simon Tugwell. I've read this book. It's a bunch of essays by him. And I read his essays on the Christian spiritual exercise of Gaio the second. I've been reading, I showed you this Gaio the second, Ladder of Monks and Twelve Meditations. This was uh, medieval spirituality, uh, probably 15th century. And uh, so these are a bunch of, these are essays on this work analysis of the spirit, medieval spirituality. And I read that one. There's Spiritual Exercise, Gaio the Second. And then there's one, Ladder of Dismantle, Lower Rings. And then the third one, Ladder of Dismantle, The Higher Rungs. Looking at the whole development of prayer, meditation, contemplation, spiritual reading. And in like up in the Middle Ages, as it's set forth here in this volume. And I, I showed you I've been reading uh, Jean Gersten, and I finished today the, his treatise, The Mountain of Contemplation. This is in the Classics of Western Spirituality, Jean Gersten, his earlier works. I might read in here tomorrow. I've read this volume many times over the years. On Mystical Theology, Second and Practical Treatise. And I don't know. I might, I'm kind of, I'm getting kind of, See, what I do is I, I get into these kind of, these periods of time where I read a lot of mystical theology, sp Christian spirituality, books on contemplation, books on prayer books on Lecto de Villa, spiritual reading, and then I get really kind of stuffed, and then I put it all aside. I'm still reading William Perkins, volume 3, his exposition on Hebrews 11. I'm still on verse 7, which he goes into that last section of Hebrews 7. It's a long uh, through the ark, he, Noah condemned the world and was made heir of righteousness, which is by faith. It's just, his, it must be at least 20 pages that he's, William Perkins has spent setting forth and uh, expounding verse 7 of Hebrews 11, the epistle of Hebrews. 
So I've been reading that. It's probably my Friday reads, Saturday reads, weekend reads. That's what I'm reading. Tonight, I start reading uh, the first introduction to the Gospel of Matthew. And this Matthew, interpreted by early Christian commentators, translator and editor D.H. Williams, The Church's Bible. I start reading this tonight. So, yeah, that's what's going on here in my... Uh, my book world, I don't know, my wife's been off for about four days and I'm kind of like, I don't know, I'm finding it kind of difficult to make sometimes videos because I don't know exactly what to say, I don't know how to review, I don't, um, I just feel kind of, you know, kind of out of it, kind of like not all there. But I want to make videos because, as I've said in past videos, I get disappointed when people don't make videos that I enjoy watching. And they, they leave for three or four or five, six months. Or they don't do it every day. Uh, they miss four or five days or they do it once a week. And I just, I like making videos. It's just that yesterday, I don't know. I went to the book nook, I got home, I don't know, I just kind of got spaced out, I suppose. This is my wife sent me, this is a Valentine's card from my wife. So yeah, she got me these for Valentine's. She got me these uh, field notes from uh, L.A. Bean. Uh, our second son, Josiah, that's how he keeps his, he keeps a diary, but he use, he's always, you'd Field, field notes. So I collect some of these editions of field notes. My my son uses these. Josiah, our second son. Our oldest son is Caleb. Our second son is Josiah. And then our youngest is Bethany, who has three children, lives in Denver. But anyway, I got some field notes for Valentine's Day. And I took my wife out for dinner for Valentine's. And so yeah, so that's what's going on. Got this in the mail. Beat the egg stories by Michael Gira. You know, like there's illustrations in here. And finish the mountain of contemplation. I can put this back down on the lower level. And I don't know what I'm gonna read next week. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. So I hope you had a good weekend. That you have a good new week. And I'll try to turn this off. I don't know how.